Prince Noctis, you can see the light. Is that what you were looking at from downstairs all this time? Uh, pretty much. When did you first notice it? When I was a child. Your death experience, right? Yes. Was it the same for you? Yeah. It's not my fondest memory. It's said that the goddess Etro will open the gate, welcoming the souls of the departed. When that happens, a bright light is said to shine down from the land of the dead. Any who witnessed that light are rumored to receive great power. Or that's how the legend's supposed to go. The one from Tenebrae, at least. Same legend here. So, how about it? Did you receive any power? I don't think I'd want anything like that. I'm fine the way I am. That's what I thought. No matter the power, if it's at the cost of someone's life, it would... it would give me nightmares. Me too. Good thing it's just a fairy tale. Hey, I wouldn't talk to anyone else about the light. How come? Being too different from others... only causes problems. And so, if the legend is just a bedtime story, then what do you think the light really is? It's just something that's there. Why can't that be enough? So, uh... My name is Stella. Stella? Well, I should be going now. I thought as much. Thank you very much for your time tonight, Prince Noctis. Call me Noct. I should take my leave as well. Huh? You know, I feel that I received something from that light tonight. I was given a chance to speak with you. Well then, enjoy the nightmares. <laughs> You're a funny one, aren't you, Prince Noctis? Just not. I'll call you that the next time we meet. So, you should try to come by Tenebrae one day, and I can show you around. Sounds fun. I'll consider it. I was about to ask the same thing. <laughs>